$35. It can buy you a sweater from The Gap, a bouquet of flowers, two large pizzas, or a new computer. Or a new computer. No, seriously, this is the $35 Raspberry Pi 2, and it's a bare bones computer that's much faster than the previous version. It isn't much. It doesn't come with a mouse, a keyboard, even a power cord, but that's sort of the point. It's meant to encourage kids, and even us adults, to build, tinker, and engage more with our computers. But don't let that scare you. You can do quite a bit with this little thing, even if you're like me and don't have any coding experience. You just need a lot of time and a little patience. I've been using the Raspberry Pi as my main computer for the better half of the week. Sure, at times it got so slow that I had time to do some yoga, but actually I could do far more than I anticipated on it. Because there's no hard drive, the Pi doesn't come with an operating system. Instead, beginners should buy Raspbian Linux on a micro SD card for just $10. I put in the card, plugged in an HDMI monitor, ethernet cable, and USB mouse and keyboard, and was up and running. Yes, you do have to type some things into the command line to get started. But believe it or not, it took less time to set up the computer than to bake a real Raspberry Pi. Once I was set up, I could check and write emails, surf the web, I downloaded a word processing program from the Pi store, and spent far too much time trying to build a house in Minecraft Pi. I also learned how to control this little cat in Scratch, a program for kids meant to teach coding. Guys, he's walking. But not everything is fun in games. For example, getting the Wi-Fi and sound to work was so frustrating, I felt like tossing the darn thing in a Pi. The second thing I was able to do, turn the little box into an Apple TV or Chromecast replacement. After installing OSMC, software that turns the Pi into a media center, I plugged the box into my TV and downloaded a compatible remote control app on my phone. It wasn't long before I was watching YouTube clips and even streaming videos from my iPhone to the TV using AirPlay. There's no Netflix or Hulu, and even just accessing those through a browser is hard with the lack of support for different software. But the price and popularity of the Raspberry Pi means you can actually tinker with the hardware to create some weird and wondrous inventions. There's actually a Raspberry Pi in here. Adafruit.com, run by Limor Freed, makes and sells Pi-compatible hardware tools and posts tutorials on how to put them together. I got together with Limor in person, and she walked me through a beginner project of creating a Pi-powered stepper motor that spins a small flag. We went through a few of the steps, including attaching wires on the motor to the Pi. I did it. Congratulations. Go forth and make. No, this Pi isn't for everyone. You can spend hours being frustrated with a computer that's far slower than many $200 Windows PCs. But for the curious and the patient, that's time spent learning how the computers around us work. And hey, it's only $35. And much lower in carbs. Damn, this pie is good. <laughs>